Meredith, it has been a very good year to be Garrett Cole. Uh, I think it's exciting for a lot of Yankees fans and probably him as well to see how he can impact this club. Bob, there was such a buzz when the Yankees went out and signed Garrett Cole, and you thought that going into spring training, he was going to be the anchor of the staff. Everything we saw from Garrett Cole during spring training indicated that that would be the case. He was methodical about everything he did. Every pitch he threw had purpose and had meaning. Now, Garrett Cole is one of the guys that had continued throwing even during this brief hiatus because of the coronavirus. He kind of lucked out in a way. Aaron Boone doesn't live too far from him. So he'd play catch with him at times. Adam Adovino as well. Radley, the bullpen catcher, and also his wife, Amy, even subbed in a few times to play catch. But it goes without saying, when it comes to Garrett Cole, you heard from him in his introductory press conference. He always felt like he belonged in pinstripes. And you imagine the weight has been that much harder for him to step foot on the mound for the first time. But it looks as though it is going to happen in 2020. When I spoke to him earlier, I asked him about the excitement and anticipation for that first start. I'm thrilled to get back on the field. It was just kind of a nice stress relief and it was good to see a lot of people smile. Looking forward to uh, some more continued uh, fun at the stadium. I don't know if you saw Mike Trout today expressed some hesitation in playing this season since he's got a baby on the way. I was just curious how you and Amy handled that decision. Um, well, um, I do have an announcement in, oh. in, terms of, in terms of that. So I guess this is a good time. Caden, uh, C-A-D-E-N, Garrett Cole, was born on 747 on 630. He was 7 pounds, 13 ounces. And Amy is doing excellent, and he's doing excellent. Um, we've not – I mean, I think, I think uh, everybody is going to see how these first few weeks play out. Uh, so far, the testing has been robust. Um, I have – certainly have confidence in my teammates and the staff, uh, the Yankees to keep us safe. Uh, my gosh, we worked like five months on this protocol um, with a lot of outside counsel. So, I mean, I'm, both of us, both of us want, want me to play. Uh, I, I, I'm, if there's obviously some, uh, you know, significant breakouts or something that would, that would really kind of, uh, put us in danger. We we may adjust, but um, I have faith that we can get through this and get through it safely. Uh, and we're taking certainly all the necessary precautions here um, when I go to and from the field and who I interact with, just like I guess I have been, um, you know, when I go to the grocery store or the drugstore while she's been pregnant. So um, we'll just be on high alert and stay vigilant, um, you know, but we're both excited to get this season off. So what do you think of the reported possible opening day between you and uh, Max Scherzer in, uh, you know, in Washington, D.C.? Um, I think uh, Gardner called it in our group text uh, a few weeks ago. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I would be just – I'm just excited to put the, the uniform on and get out there. Uh, I think it's obviously – an enticing matchup having, uh, you know, pitched against them in the World Series last year and them being the reigning World Series champs. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully it draws, uh, draws some good attention and it's a good matchup, uh, and I'm really excited for it. I think opening up in D.C. Uh, is perfect for the country. During uh, those talks to restart the game, obviously got very contentious uh, between the players and the owners and, and – do you have any concerns about the game uh, ability to, to climb out of that hole? Um, I don't think I have any concerns uh, long term. Obviously, when negotiations spill out into the public forum, uh, or or the public is used to try to create leverage against one side or another, uh, it's it's not going to be pretty. Um, it's especially not pretty, I think, under the backdrop of a pandemic. But the reality is, I guess, that it happened. And, and um, you know, it's unfortunate. I think it leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. But, uh, you know, we got, we're got we in the second half of the year, I guess. I'm kind of an optimist. It's behind us. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can learn um, from this from both sides. Um, and hopefully we can, 
you know, I guess do a better job in the future. Um, I don't see why, why we can't learn from it and get better. Um, and, and I don't see why it needs to continue to spiral. Um, but from, from where I'm looking at it now, we got 60 games ahead of us. And, um, so that's kind of, that's kind of in the past for me. And our focus is, our focus is on, uh, you know, trying to come out hot and, and, and win some ball games. Historically, when, when sports hit these, these speed bumps, they climb out of those with great stories and great players. And obviously you're uh, now a, a highly compensated player for the a most high profile team in, in the sport. Uh, they're scheduling a, the opener around you in part. Uh, you welcome that responsibility as, as one of the guys who can hopefully help uh, elevate baseball back to where it was and, and beyond. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I, I, I think I touched on that a little bit earlier. I, I don't think it's just me. I think it's a lot of us. Um, I, there's there's a sense of, uh, y- you know, there's a connection with the fans that each team has with its city and, and just players connecting with fans as a whole. Um, and, you know, so if we can, like I said, bring some smiles to some people's faces, uh, bring some bring some joy through, through some of these tough times, um, obviously being that hopefully we can keep all of our – all of us safe as we, as we go about it and, and, and maybe set an example and how we go about our, how we go about our work at the field, how, how, uh, you know, how to, you know, go about work in this pandemic. I think we're looking forward to all those opportunities. I specifically uh, am well aware of the, of, of, you know, the expectations and, and some of the stuff that you, you, you touched on. And um, yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here to, I'm here to take that burden on and, and take it in stride. And, um, you know, I'm honored to do it. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've prepared this, this entire summer, uh, to be put in that position. So, um, I fully expect to be ready to go. Obviously, Garrett, you guys were the prohibitive favorites, right? Coming into the season, not only because the Yankees signed you, but because of the, the cast of characters uh, that you have around you. Now with you guys having this extra time to get healthy, what talk to me about the chances of this team uh, still performing to what you guys want to do in this 60 game season? Um, I, I, I like our chances. I saw Aaron yesterday. He's swinging the bat well. He's pain free, which is good. Um, I know Giancarlo's had time to recover. Aaron Hicks yesterday would be like the first player ever to have Tommy John and not miss a regular season game. So, um, there's probably some silver lining that we may not, you know, reap the benefits this year, but certainly, uh, in the case of, uh, like Aaron, both Aaron's, um, that I think, uh, they'll reap the benefits, um, down, down, you know, down the line, if not this year, um, you know, any, any team wants to come out of the gate being absolutely healthy. Um, and so, you know, the five, the four months, uh, hiatus has provided us the opportunity to do that. Uh, we liked our chances, um, in February, um, you know, 60 games, 162 games, when it comes down to it, players just want to compete and get after it. And, um, you know, the world series is not going to be, it, 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 it's going to be a different season, right? I mean, we're, we're used to playing really about three times the amount of games. Um, but, with that said, there is only going to be one coronavirus World Series champion, and so that's unique <laughs> in and of itself. And uh, I don't see why you wouldn't want to take that trophy home, especially when you know you're competing against your peers, uh, and 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 there's only going to be one of them. So we're excited. We're bullish. Aaron looked. Both Aaron's looked great yesterday. Um, so I'm super glad to see that. And uh, yeah, we're we're chomping at the bit. Well, the extended layoff has done nothing to dull Yankees fans' excitement for having Garrett Cole on their side. In addition to being the white whale, he's also developed into the West, one of the best pitchers in baseball over the last few seasons. Whether it's on the mound or in the clubhouse, Cole will have a tremendous impact on the 